Hey guys, this is Naresh. So in Java, sometime we have to create a map for different purposes, but it's difficult to read a map to get its key and a value. So basically map is a collection in which you can have a key and a value so that you can write any program for different purposes. So mainly there are two methods through which you can write and uh, read a data from a map. So the first method is called entry set and uh, the another method is called key set okay so these are the two ways through which you can do that and we'll see that how we can do that right now and how we can uh, write a small code which make you understand about this so right now i will create a new class and uh, i will call it as map read okay so it's a blank class created and then I will create one program. So it would be public, static, void, main, simple way. We are just giving our main method here. Okay. Right. So after that, we will do, we will try to declare a map. So simple, we can say map, which is an interface. And then we can put a string, comma, a string under the angular bracket okay the name of the map and after that it would be new hash map okay so this is what we have created so let's move forward so it's string that you know it need to import the library so let's click on import class so it has imported this and under this also what we can do we we'll say it's a string i can put a string a string here also okay so we have declared this map all right now if i want to store a key and a value there is a method in map which is dot put so i will say map dot put okay and i can give one key here so i will say a uh, in an example and then i can put a value here so i am putting one here okay and then map dot put Okay, and I can give b comma two here. I can again copy that so that uh, we can create uh, different maps here. Let me just do it like this. Okay, I will change the value a, b, c, d. Okay, and the value could be one, five, six, eight. So now we have created a map and now if I want to read a map the simplest way you can uh, if you want to just print a map and want to see what is there in the map so you can just say system dot out dot println and then simply give map here if you just want to print it okay so if I do that it will give me this complete map printing okay but let's say you have created the map uh, and now you want to fetch the different values because you maybe want to compare it or more want to do some calculation on a key and a value so how do we do that so what i will do after that i will just create entry set okay and uh, for creating an entry set uh, what i will do see there's a method called map dot entry set which gives me a set of my map okay so I will create a for loop here in that for loop there is a method which is map dot entry okay and it is receiving string dot string like this and after that I will uh, name it as pair okay and this pair will receive a value so this pair value would be map dot entry set okay see what I'm doing right now just understand this uh, yeah so see this map has been created now I am calling map dot entry set method so this map dot entry set method will get me a key and a value okay the first key and a value in the map and this will get stored into the pair okay let me give the angular bracket here so this map dot entry set is giving me a key and a value which will store under the pair and it this pair has a type if you will see it's a map dot entry because the set which is returned 
has a type of map dot entry so that is the reason for the pair I am giving map dot entry and I am giving key and a value here so pay will basically have a key and a value which I receive from the map for the first one so in the first loop it will have a first value in the second loop it would have a second value so the in the first loop pair will contain a and one and then it will contain b and five then it will contain c and six okay and after that if I want to use it I can uh, you know keep it in some kind of a variable if I want so I will say string key equal to I will say a uh, pair dot get key okay then a string value equal to or I can maybe give something like this it's more makes sense it will give current key okay and current value okay and it will say pair dot get value right and if I want I can now print this out so I will say system dot out dot println okay and I can be print like this current uh, C small current key and I will make it plus and I will show a colon between okay plus and then would be current value so this is what I want to print okay all right so first time it was it will print a and one second time b and five c and six so right now i have just stored that into the variable okay and you can do any operation on this if you want on the key and a value let's try to run it now so if you see that what is given the first one which is we have printed from system dot print ln and then this for loop and this for loop is printing a1 b5 c6 d8 that is a1 b5 c6 and d8 so basically now you can do any operations which you want in the key and a value which is given in this entry set okay now there's one more way okay so another way is using key set so before we have used an entry set and now we will use key set so let me just type it here it's key set okay same for loop we will go to so it's a for and now what I will do I will just print one variable here I will say string and I will just give it a name as a key so I'm just getting a key from the map I will say map dot key set okay so basically what will happen here in every loop like here we have a loop here we also we are again having a loop in every loop I will just get a key okay so if I am getting a key I can store that I will say string current key equal to and here I will say key right so see it's we are already getting a key so we don't have to you know uh, print any method like key dot get key nothing it's already a key which I am getting from a map so there is no need for that and for the value I will say string current value equal to so now what I will do I will say map dot get and here in the get I will give this key itself or maybe I can give this current key okay see there's a difference between these two here I am calling this pair and I am getting dot key and a get value right and in this key set I there's no pair I'm directly getting a key so I will say current key equal to key and current value equal to map dot get current key okay and now if I want to print it I will say system dot out dot print ln and here if I want a key to be there I will say key plus colon I will give this right and then plus and then current value okay I can even give something like this current key instead of key right so both are same here it is just a difference that in this we have to call get key and a get value uh, for the pair and here we are directly getting a key from the map uh, in the first and then we are getting a value of that so when we say you know this map dot key set it will return me the first key okay 
So this is how we return the first key and uh, in every loop it will give me a different keys here. Okay, so next let's try to print it now. Right click, run. Now just see the output, okay. So it has printed the first one, okay. And now this is printing the second one, which is one, five, six, eight. So seem we have done a mistake here. Uh, let's see, system dot dot print and current value. Okay, so right now instead of key, we are printing this second value twice. So we need to get current key. Okay, so now let's try to run it again. Now we are getting the correct output. So from the first loop, we are getting this. And from the second loop, we are getting this again. And now, uh, like in the first loop, in the second loop also, we have got the key. We have got the value. We can go ahead, do some operations, what we want, and we can print it also if you want. Okay, so this is the way through which you can get a data of a map. The first map way is the entry set. The another way is the key set. There are some more ways which we can talk later in the other videos, but this is how the two main ways through which you can read the data from a map. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.